Joining me now, Lisa Guerrero. Lisa Guerrero, a bona fide football fanatic and former Monday Night Football sideline reporter on the field. Lisa? Thanks, Deborah. Time for the news. With Lisa G. Lisa Guerrero. Thank you. You're welcome. What did he eat? Not reported. No, not reported. Not yet. You might want to take a minute to think about that. The show within a show. Yeah. The Lisa Guerrero show. Welcome to Star's Secret Passion. I'm Lisa Guerrero. Hollywood celebrities can do a lot with their fame and fortune, like buy luxurious homes, expensive cars, or take time to travel around the world. But some stars, thankfully, use their names and sometimes their own money to make the world a better place. Here are a few celebrities whose passions have had an impact around the globe and have made life better for millions of people. Holidays are upon us. What big plans do you and Jennifer and the baby have, if any? Uh, we, we're just going to kind of do... But you don't mind telling six million people. I'm hoping to. Yes, you're all welcome. Uh, <laughs> Lisa will be there, naturally. Oh, yeah, I'm um, invited. Who will be the next Catherine McPhee, Taylor Hicks, or possibly William Hung? The search began today here at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena for the next American Idol, and we spoke to plenty of the hopefuls and, quite frankly, hopeless. So what is the possibility that a real-life snake could end up on your plane? Well, guess what? I asked the expert. What should somebody do? If they're in a plane, they're a passenger on a plane and a snake like in this. the plane, what should you do? Jules invited me to meet the scaly stars who live in his Southern California office. Well, this is it. Welcome to hell. <laughs> There's a lot of snakes in here. <laughs> That's what I understand. There's a hundred. <laughs> So first of all, hold on. Yes. Your hair looks much better right now than it used to. Where did you get that old thing? All right, by way of explanation, uh -huh. it was the 80s. We had big hair and we wore white pumps. So that's all I can say. And by the way, by the way, I have one more thing to say. I have seen pictures of John Crook's mullet. I have seen pictures of Reggie Theus's fro, and I have seen pictures of Tom Arnold's ex-wife. So nobody can say anything to me. People. <laughs> You know, I think oftentimes we think of this as being the players against uh, the owners, that there's two sides of the issue. There's really four sides of the issue. There's the players, the owners, the fans, and the people that are going to be economically impacted if the players go on strike. And those are the people that work at the stadiums. Those are people like Ruben Gutierrez that's been working at Dodger Stadium for 33 years. In 1994, he lost paychecks. He wasn't able to pay his utility bill. These are people that are directly affected by a strike. The players aren't going to miss a meal. The owners aren't going to miss a meal. But people that no, work wait, for wait, the wait, stadiums wait, wait, wait. could miss a meal. Hold and that's on. who I care about a lot more than players in the world. Thanks very much, guys. Carson, Brent McCafferty predicted a dog fight. That's exactly what this was. It was. I mean, the first, the first play of the game didn't start off the way we wanted. We kept fighting. We knew it was going to be a long game, and it was. How important was this victory to this team today? First question I got to ask Peyton is, dude, what were you thinking in a preseason game throwing a block for Marvin Harrison? I'm going to throw some names at you, and just tell me the first thing that pops into your head. Oh okay. my God! <laughs> yeah. We'll start with Jerry. Joe Montana. Greatness. Steve Mariucci. <laughs> Be honest. Well, there's a lot more going on here at Sundance besides just the screenings and the movie stars. As a matter of fact, when the sun goes down, the nightlife really heats up. Am I on the list? I'm, I'm, I'm Lisa Guerrero with Courtney. No, let, let, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I, I, I got you. I got you. You guys are good. He's so easy. I love Park City. Why do I catch a chest cold here in Park City wearing this? Miles, that was a big movie star. You got you got to perk up when the movie stars come by. If you had amnesia and could figure out that you were really such and such player, who would you like to be? Because just like in the movie, you kind of figure out what your skills are. Now, what do you think it is about a girl that kicks butt that guys think is sexy? Who is cooler? James Bond, Barry Bonds. Do you know who Barry Bonds is? Because that would be unfair if you didn't. You understand that fans are concerned. Do you think that that's fair for them to then want to know who's doing steroids if anybody is? This is how you're used to seeing me. Camera ready and put together. But today it's extreme makeover time as I'm becoming one of TV's hottest new stars, Ugly Betty. Makeup artist Spencer Barnes applies a foundation that erases my features. Next, I get eyebrows that look like they could get up and walk away. I'm in need of a conditioner. Take a look at me before, now me after. I'm officially uglified. Thanks for watching Star's Secret Passions on TV Guide Network, America's TV headquarters. I'm Lisa Guerrero. Goodbye.